But the faster poison is that Iran is getting nuclear weapons. And people don't seem to understand what that means. Uh, the Japanese were a lot, in 1945, were a lot tougher than we are today. And yet it took only two nuclear weapons to get them to surrender. So people are saying, you know, Iran may have only a couple of nuclear bombs. That's all they need. If they're, if they're willing to die and we're not, then there's nothing short of surrender. You know, a lot of people recognize the threat of Iran, but you're actually one of the few people that I've talked to who really see it as a kind of, uh, you know, the, the term these days is existential threat to the United States. It really changes our existence. Oh, ab absolutely. Going all the way back to the Ayatollah Khomeini, uh, he said that his first loyalty is not to Iran, it's to Allah. And so if, if you know, we can't deter them if, with, with the threat that we'll come in and destroy a whole lot of innocent Iranians, uh, they don't care. I mean, you, you can't deter suicide bombers. So deterrence worked. We're here at the Hoover Institution, which is home to a lot of people who were architects of the deterrence policy. Deterrence worked during the Cold War, but you don't think it will work today? No, because you can't deter suicidal people. You either stop them or you don't stop them. Could you just elaborate on a, a little bit when you say point of no return? What does that mean? Does that mean that, well, is, is this to go back to what we were talking about originally with Iran? Is that part of Iran it? Iran is, that's part of it. That's a huge part of it. Because if we, if, if we don't retain our uh, independence, then the rest of it is, is really secondary. Do you think the administration is kind of distracted by what's going on on the economic side and not paying enough attention? to Iran, or do you no. think there's something more basic going on? No, I, I, I don't think they ever intended to do anything serious to stop Iran. Uh, what, they, what, they, what they are doing uh, is a lot of charades at the United Nations, uh, which follows the whole years. We've had all kinds of charades at the United Nations uh, and at the uh, League of Nations before that for the very same purpose of giving the impression that you're doing something when you're not doing a thing.